Hi, Becca C. Smith here, and today I'm going to show you how to create chapter headings with images in Photoshop and then anchor them in InDesign for an EPUB export. And let me start by saying, which I did in my other video too, is that I am by no means an expert because I have learned everything from trial and error and reading a lot of boards. It has been difficult for me to find YouTube tutorials specifically on the EPUB export image topic. <laughs> so hopefully this will help anybody that's had the same issues I've had. If you haven't seen my tutorial on how to anchor images for EPUB and InDesign, you should probably watch that first, but I am going to be going over anchoring again in this video as well. But this is specifically for chapter headings with images. And the main reason I make the chapter heading in Photoshop first is because I cannot get the image to anchor precisely for an EPUB export if I anchor the image to the chapter heading that's a text. So it's just better to make it one big image and then bring that image into InDesign. Let's open up Photoshop. I'm going to create new and my books are five and a half by eight and a half. So I've made a template here that is five and a half by three inches. That should give me enough space. And I make it 300 uh, resolution because I do make my books in print and EPUB. Create. First things first, you want your image to be a PNG. You do not want to have a white background or any background because otherwise it'll just look like a big block on your book or your EPUB. So let's just add a layer here real quick just so we can get rid of this background. Okay, just double click. Okay, and then we can trash it. There you go, yay. First things first, we're gonna put in the image that you want. I'm gonna use some fan art that I made from Buffy. And uh, everything, all pictures because it's print and because it's an EPUB, it's all in black and white. So if you wanna make your imagery in black and white beforehand or if it already is in black and white, that's great. But just remember, you're probably not gonna be printing in color and Kindles and Nooks, unless you have the fancy dancy ones, they're gonna be black and white as well. So place embedded, we got the silhouette here. Okay, so this is a little too big, so we are going to shrink it down. And the nice thing about Photoshop is that you don't have to hold shift the shift key down anymore to preserve the aspect ratio, so you can just shrink it. Let's keep it there. Maybe a little bit down. And then again, this is going to be for your own taste. You're going to you're going to want to do your own chapter headings. This is just to show you a brief way to do this. This isn't a, obviously a design tutorial. You're going to want to do it the way you want to do it. So let's let's make this 60 and do chapter one. We're using bleeding cowboys. You can always have fun with your fonts, right? <laughs> bleeding cowboys, I thought would be very appropriate for a Buffy chapter. This is still a little too big for me, but again, this is all how you want to design things. That looks good. If you want to have fun, you can make the C big, you know, bring that up to 72. Or if you want to make the one even bigger, make that like 100. <laughs> so again, it's whatever you want the chapter to look like. It's all your design. So let's just go with that. Let's say we're, we're happy with this. So we're gonna export it. And we're gonna export it as a PNG. This is very important, PNG. And export. Now we're gonna go to our InDesign file in our chapter. And we are going to place our chapter heading right here. So file, place, Buffy chapter, open. And we're just gonna, it's gonna be huge because it's 300 DPI. So we're gonna have to shrink it. But we click it here, it's gigantic. And then we command minus so we can get a hold on it. And then command shift to keep the aspect ratio intact. Okay. And there it is, there's the chapter heading. And you can, you know, put it anywhere you want. That's all up to you, again, that's designed. So, anchoring. 
very simple see this blue square right here a little blue box like a TARDIS and you're just gonna drag it to the first letter of the chapter and it's anchored yay and that's it okay so the next part is very important these are the settings that you need to have in order for this to be placed exactly the way you want it in your EPUB export we're exporting the chapter and it has to be reflowable because that's the whole key to an EPUB and Kindles and Nooks is that you want the text to be able to be enlarged and to be shrunk and whatever. So essentially exactly what the word sounds like. Reflowable. <laughs> Save. Object. Uh, we want this to be checked on preserve appearance from layout. And we want this to be relative to text flow. We do not want it to be fixed because fixed will shrink it, align center, and okay. Okay, so now let's check it on the Kindle. And here it is. Perfectly in place, perfect size. It's in the reflowable so you can still make the text as big as you want. and it still works perfectly. Yay! I hope this helped. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.